Good evening. How, are, how is everybody this evening? Good, good show, good show. Welcome to the very first live interview on the Construction Cronies YouTube channel, man. Uh, this is um, all new setup. All, all, all the screens are new, the software is new, the Zoom stuff, all that. Uh, so we had a little bit of a, a tricky time with the audio setting up, but it's all good to go now. And uh, uh, Mountain Range, he's uh, in the in the waiting room there, waiting for us. And uh, yeah, we're just about good to go here. Uh, man, oh man, thank you guys for all coming so early. And Team Smoke, yo, representing, man. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, I'd love to see some more Team Smoke. Um, Rain herself is a, is a member of Team Smoke. And um, actually, in fact, that's where I met her. And uh, so, yeah, guys, man, uh, who else we have? Cooking with Steel Cross. Hey, dude, what's going down, man? And uh, Tanner Heard, uh, Little Zippy, Slap Happy Jelly from uh, Scotland. All right, dude, how are you, man? Wild Man 475, right on. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Shaky audio? Right on, I can fix that. Hopefully the audio isn't so shaky. I'm I'm going a little crazy, a little too too close. So um, audio messing up. Okay, we're good there. Right on. There we go. Hey Drew, what's going on, man? So the audio is bad, eh? I wonder if it has something to do with uh, Zoom running at the same time because every time I was going online with Zoom before. Uh, I was having those issues with uh, with the audio, so you know what I mean. When I was on uh, Michael Daniel's channel, uh, and uh, when I was on uh, Creative Chaos, the audio was really, really bad. So um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to introduce. Okay, how's the audio right now, guys? It still sounds like I'm underwater. Let's make sure I didn't hit any extra buttons, but I don't know. I checked it before. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. You know what? I'm going to blame it on Zoom because everything's good on my end. I have to really dig into that. Uh, hope, oh, what, it is getting better. Let me turn it down. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, yeah. Hey, Flat Earth Forums. Hey, dude. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, what a wild uh, channel you have because the, like, the content uh, is, is insane. It makes you think about things, right? Uh, hopefully the audio... Ah, uh, so yeah, as you stood up. <laughs> of course. Okay, so that means I was... I'm too loud, that's all. And I'm going to... Uh, just tweak one thing in Zoom uh, because it, I, yeah, there we go, boom. There we go. I got to fix something in Zoom as well. Uh, hopefully that should fix it right there. All right, so my audio should be good now. I'm going to uh, leave this window open for a second. But, yeah, okay, so, guys, oh, Konaman Studios, we're doing we're doing really well. How how are you been, man? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, let me check. Yeah, it looks good. I think the audio <coughs> should be quite fixed now, actually. I can turn it even up a bit, I bet. So, good stuff, guys. So, today, we're talking to Mountain Rain. A lot of you guys know her. Throw down, man. Hey, my nephew, all the way from Ontario. How's it going, pal? Nice to see you. Sounds great. Oh, Mama K, my mom. That's beautiful. Reverb is perfect now. Okay, good, good, good. Right on. That's the thing. I, I'm new to Zoom. This is the very first interview. Um, really excited. Uh, I've been, I've been, I've been asking uh, Mountain Rain to come on for a, a while now, and I've been like just slacking, you know, like trying to get things set up and get the Zoom, get everything uh, ready. And so, yeah, here we are. Here it is. Um, I'm going to jump over to our dual cam. So if you're all good there, Rain. We'll pop over then, and, and uh, they'll be we'll be on a dual cam for a bit, and then I'll let you have the stage for a while. Uh, boom. 
Hey, and there she is, everybody. Hi. Lovely mountain rain. Let me make sure you, we can hear her. There we go. Can y'all hear me good? Oh, can y'all yeah, hear me hear good? Perfectly. So make sure you guys can hear mountain rain and let me know if there's any audio issues there. So, <laughs> so rain, uh, we, we're just interested to know a little bit more about what it was like for you coming up, uh, you know, in, in working in construction and working in, uh, and, you know, now to eventually even open owning your own company now and uh, flipping houses, if, if I remember correctly. Right. Excellent. All right. Well, I started very young. Well, I started and, very young. Um, and I started um, in Florida. I started in um, Florida. Um, it's hard. It, it's it really hard. Is hard. It it really and, is hard. It has and, its it has its ups it has and downs. Its, it has its ups and downs. Um, um, like when I was in Florida, I worked. Like when I was in Florida, I worked. So, for a um. So I didn't really have um, problems with I didn't really have problems like with homeowners or anything um, like that. Um, and then when I came here, and then which, when I, I came here, I've been doing which, this a long time. I've, I've been doing this a long time. Um, when I came here, um, I started. When my I came business, here, I started and, my own business. Um, and it'd be better um, if you ask me questions. It'd be better if you but, ask me questions. Um, but um, sure, yeah, no problem. So what? Um, when you when you when you what got you first started? What was what inspired you, or how did you end up working like doing this? Okay, um, okay. when I was twelve, um, when I was twelve, started, uh, my mom managing started apartments. Uh, managing and apartments, and I had to paint. We had to fix everything. I had to paint. We had to fix everything. Mother. Cause she was and a single mother. So that's how I learned. So and I learned. so I that's how I learned. Florida. So when I moved to Florida, um, um I saw the pay. I saw was like really, really the good. The pay you know, was like and, really, really good. So know, I started out and, painting. So I started out really good at it. Because I was really good at it. From my mom managing. Um, and I worked for um, three, three different companies. I worked for three. Three different um, companies. While I was in Florida. Um, while I was um, in Florida. Painted first. Um, um, painted first. And then, um, and the then third company the I worked third for did everything. company I worked they for did everything. They did floors, tile. They did floors, uh, tile. Uh, you name and, it, they did it. You name it, they did it. When I was 22. Um, I started my own business um, in Florida. I started my own business in um, Florida. I did really good um, there. I did really good um, there. Um, yeah, I have to yeah. read people. Yeah, I have to read um, people. Because, um, like because, women can get jealous. Like women can get um, jealous. Um, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, they don't want you in their house. You know, they don't want you in their house or whatever. Um, personally, it you make, personally, you make it, a lot you more make, money. Owning you make a lot business, more money you know, owning your own business, but, you know, being you know, a as a subcontractor, but, you know, as a subcontractor, it was a lot easier. Um, it was a lot um, easier, on me. um, um, on me because I didn't um, really have to deal with, because I didn't really owners. have to deal with the you home know, owners, um, you know, um, <clears throat> And you know my coworkers. And you know my coworkers would help me because of course I cannot lift a forty foot ladder. Cannot cannot lift a 40-foot ladder. I can go up a forty foot ladder, you know, but I can't lift it. There was things that I could not do. Um, but from floor up, I mean, I can do anything to a house. So I came here, and um. I started painting, um, and then, um, no, yeah, no, that's, I lost audio, Mountain, can, Rain, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I'm I lost your audio. Um let me see. Oh, here we go. You got your you got your uh mic muted. I can see it on the corner. You just might have hit it by accident. <laughs> okay, so I got it. I got you now. Guys, I'm I'm working on the sound. I think I got it. 
now. There you go. Yeah, See? now I got you. Now. Right on. Oh, Florida is awesome. It's such a beautiful um, uh, state. I love it there. It's different, yeah, but it's different in Florida because, you know, hard hat, work boots, shorts, tank top, you know. And now that I live in East Tennessee, uh, that yeah. is not acceptable at all. Uh, so it's, you know, I still, um, I don't wear the shorts or the tank tops or anything. So I'm like hot, hot, <laughs> but, um, uh, it's still hard. It's still hard. It's still hard because, um, I don't want to like make this sound mean or anything, but men in their fifties, 50s to 50s to 70s they will call they will call you know and and i'll go and they know more than i do they think they know more than i do even though even though even though that they don't know how to do it um so i get treated like that so and saying that um my two sons and i am married um, if it's someone like, if that, it's then, someone like that, then they go and talk. But I will go um, but I will go and I can read like the woman, I can read the man or whatever. And whoever they take to the best, that's who they're going to deal with. Um, I do a lot of, I find that um, funny how they call the professional and, for, for advice and you know what I mean like just find that really really ignorant here <laughs> homeowners are, are awful to deal yeah, with yeah but it's it's not on right? wow it's not on it's, mm-hmm. it's not on it's, it's like over I would say 50 over 50 percent of older men older men. A difference in the younger men older. would you Do see, would you see a difference in the Do younger what? men then are they more uh, yeah they, Oh yeah, yeah. Like the, the younger men, um, yeah, I can tell them what they need or and what they want, you know. And I help them, and they're like gracious, you know. And but um, if it is an older guy, if he's single, um, there's no problem. <laughs> um, but the older men literally seem to like. They know more than me, but they called me, right? Um, so I don't really deal with them. Um, yeah, I'll send my Otis son um, or my husband will go. So we got so we got that fixed. <laughs> well, that makes uh, that's that's different. I you know I mean like uh, it's it's. I just uh, I don't I almost almost don't know what to say to that because but I, I get it and it's it's hopeful it's not it's I'm glad to hear that the younger generations are more accepting because um, I remember when I first started in the yeah. trades as well I was fifteen uh, and I know uh, y- you were fifteen as well when you started and uh, it was different back then there I think the first woman I seen on site was probably within the last decade would be the first time and and it's only been a handful out of all the jobs i've been on wait with hundreds of guys but i have i have hired uh women before and they are actually one of the they work harder than most of the men i I agree to be honest i agree as a foreman uh and we do drywall and steel stud and um and, and t- yeah, women are very hard workers. They got really good work ethic, and um, they're just easier to get along with. I find, <laughs> right? Um, uh, yeah. You know, I, I, I. How hopefully that's better, Wheelrow. Wheelrow in the house, yeah. Ant is uh, love is love. He's shouting you out. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Rain can catch no. the chat, but she'll, she'll be able to catch the replay. No. And uh, there's been lots of love, show, sh- uh, lots of love shouting, showing your way. Sorry. <laughs> In Tanner, I want to give Tanner a yeah, shout yeah, out. That's your boy, right? I've seen him. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm, uh, he, I'm sure I've seen him on the videos, right? 
that's the one. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, he's uh, an addition to the family. Nice, Loving. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. So what would you say to, like, a, a say, a 16, 17-year-old female thinking about getting into the trades? You know, I mean, construction pays a lot of money. It's, it's a, you know, it's a good way to to make money and especially to save money for college and, and university if you can't you know what I mean like it's a really good way to get that money fast what would you say to yes. a younger woman I would, I would I would definitely tell them to go in and just do their job um, you're gonna get like the other subs um, flirting with you making comments you're just gonna have to put them in their place and definitely don't date any of them. Um, Good advice. Yeah. That don't. You just go in. And eventually, they, and eventually they will start respecting you. Of course, on job sites, you're going to hear cussing. <laughs> you're going to hear everything, jokes, dirty jokes, and all this other stuff. Um, but as long as you don't, like, I mean, you don't like get in there with them they will start respecting you completely Very completely yeah and they'll start, um, and they'll start yeah. helping you out and i would definitely encourage all you know all women you know young women to actually get in construction because there there's really good money in it and you're gonna have problems sexual harassment you know um yeah, I've I've had so many offers. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. In my day, I actually yeah, when I lived in Florida, um, I was painting, and um, they're like, hey, I was painting the outside of the building, and they're like, hey, you know, why don't you come back on the weekend and just wear a tea bag bathing suit, and we'll pay you an extra five thousand dollars. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm wow. like, no, buddy, no. You talk like that to me, and I'm just going to quit painting right now. You know, and they laughed or whatever. But you're gonna, you're gonna get flirted with, but you're just gonna have to ignore it and do your job. Yeah, yeah, that's. And you're gonna have to deal with the jealousy with the women. And but Florida and, uh, but Florida and East Tennessee is completely different. You know, I'm having problems with like, and it's, I hate to say this, but it's like the Caucasian men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they think they know everything. The older ones. Yeah. And well, I get it. I agree. yeah, I mean, they don't. I, I, the reason why I want to like, I, like, I love building. I love construction. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't want to sound I mean, I don't want to sound racist. I'm not racist, no. but it's just, it's the older yeah. Caucasian men. No, I agree. I, I mean, so. there are a bunch of assholes, and I'm sorry I have to say it. I, I agree. Um, I have never worked for somebody who wasn't an <laughs> asshole in this business. So, you know, uh, I, I really, really want to see it get better. Um, uh, for, for women yeah. uh, and, and, and guys, I think we can be better, uh, better people, right? And um, I, I can't believe that, I, I you know, like, I, I know I've been on the big sites, uh, been on the rigs as well, like the oil, uh, uh, like the refinery. Sorry, um, it's 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 bad. Like it's bad, and I, I find like the more uh, like industrial it gets, like the worse it is. <laughs> but there's yes. also more women in industrial. Yes. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's tough. It's got to be hard to you know, like it's a tough business. It's a tough. Uh, job to have to begin with right it's physically demanding it's uh it's you know like yeah. if you're running things it's a it's also mentally exhausting right to have that extra stress is and isn't well, fair to anybody well well i raised my kids with me in this so um you know my oldest son runs the office now completely yes. so um they've helped out a lot um with other contractors um because my home like we're based out of knoxville i do not live in knoxville but um, 
like there's a lot of contractors that will call me and I'm kind of like their interior decorator. So I will pick out the flooring, the granite tile, the paint colors, and, you know, we're talking about, you know, $2 million houses. So I've got a pretty, pretty good name here uh, for doing that. So other contractors do call me for their help with that. And, um, but it's been a lot better because, um, we started flipping houses, um, uh, doing remodels and stuff like that. So there's a lot more money in that. Oh, yeah. That's definitely desirable. Um, definitely yeah. desirable. Um, yeah, when we build a house, a new construction house, um, new construction, it's going about, in between 125 to 130 a square foot um and of course if it's custom the price is ridiculous you know it's like really high on that um but the money i mean the money is really good but you just have to but you just have to i've i learned at a young age to read people you know to see if they <laughs> to see if they're gonna you know like me or disagree with me because homeowners can be a pain in the butt i i can agree with that um uh, they, yeah they you know they're it, there's there's two kinds of homeowners i find the ones that have lots of money and the ones that don't <laughs> right like but the ones with yeah. but the ones with, all, with the ones with the money don't want to spend the money. Yeah, yeah, they're they're cheap. Yeah, that's right. Very, very cheap. Very, no very cheap. No wonder they have money. Yeah. <laughs> they're cheap. That's right. That's how it goes, right? Yeah. That's yeah. uh, I I saw my yeah. I, this is my mom actually says, uh, men and women are all abused in a way or another on the job. Whatever it is, we all just have to do our job, do it well, and earn the respect, and mm -hmm. always be the bigger person. So, yes, that's, that's true. Yep. Yep. Um, I just, I, I don't do that. Like I don't, I don't hit on women on a job site and, and I never have, I think it's tacky, uh, like flirting and anything, anything like that is just tacky. It's just not right. You know, that's not a, a yeah. place of work isn't for that. Right. And, no. uh, we're here to do it. No, no, but I, I mean, I have worked around some females that like yeah, that attention. That too. Um, yeah, which, which isn't good. Um, it's reading something, but no, if you're, if you're a woman and you're watching this, um, I would highly suggest getting into it, researching it. Um, but just go and do your job and stay in your ground and it will put everybody in their place and they'll know, you know, that you're a lady and they won't sexually harass you after a while. So after a while. So. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's tricky working with the audio here. I'm trying to turn my mic. They think I have the, my speakers on, but I don't have my speakers on. Uh, so, uh, I mean, it'll be, we'll work it out. I'll hit, I'll hear the replay. I'll do a couple of these and we'll, it'll be all good. Right. <laughs> I can't appreciate okay. you enough coming on though and talking about this with me. Uh, yeah. like this, yeah. you know, it's a big, big, big subject. Uh, it was like the the industry is like ninety eight percent male. You know what I mean? And is that in the chat? Is that in the chat? <laughs> do we have any females in the chat? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, we have a we oh, have cool. a few females in the chat. Oh, oh. Good. Yes, we good. do. Good. Yeah. Uh, well, shout out to my females there. <laughs> yes. Oh uh, man, yeah, lots of Uncle Dan also, Wheel Row, um, um a couple more guys popping in. That's awesome. Carlos, hey, hey. Nice to see you too, man. Uh yeah, lots of older older trades guys. Um uh you know, like Wheel Row has a company as well. He you know, he's uh, in Florida himself. And um where yeah, there are a couple other construction guys. Yeah. 
Florida. Florida. Florida is really good for construction. Um, yeah, Florida is good for everything. I, I, I love. I'd love to be down there. Uh, anywhere where there's no snow, but yeah, Florida is, it would be, a, it would be <laughs> no worth <laughs> no can't handle the snow anymore. I right? just, you know, try it. Like the construction right. in the winter is the worst, it's the worst, right? It is. It, it, is. Really, it, it, it really is here. I mean, we have, it, it, slows down. it, it slows down, which I haven't slowed down, I haven't slowed down you know, but contractors other contractors that I know have, um, but it slows down like everybody wants in their everybody house. wants in their house before Thanksgiving, and then, uh, and then uh, so there's like a rush. But after that, then construction slows down until like um, until like February or March. So I don't know if anybody's heard this saying. It's either feast or famine <laughs> in construction. But that can be true, yes. Well, oh, that's right. Right now we're experiencing, um, like, the, the winter was so long that right now, like, our jobs are pushed back, like, weeks and months right now, you know? Like, yeah. um, it took so long for the, the, the ground to thaw that uh, it's really slow in construction right now out, out oh, west. I oh, I bet. I bet where you're from, yeah. yeah. It's crazy slow. Um yeah. We have about but three, but that's when we started, um, like with me having my real estate license and everything, um, and being able to flip houses and doing that. So we have inside work all year long. So, that's, so that's that, really good. That's nice. And I just lost. Jeff. And I just Did lost you? Jeff. you. Got me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> there I'm. Right <laughs> um yeah i think that i would be uh, that would be like i see what's going on like in uh, like warm places yeah, it's crazy the, the construction never stops never slows down in florida, with the in florida with the hurricanes and all that they always yeah, have work yeah that's crazy yeah here it's kind of very relied on like the oil industry right so if the oil's down then construction's down if the oil's up construction's up Right, it's directly tied to the oil industry, right? Which is unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's awesome. I really, really appreciate you guys, you coming on and talking about this. Uh, oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I don't know if we yeah. have any questions for for Rain. Let me know in the chat, and I'll, I'll ask her. And oh, Mama Rain is phones dying. Great job. She'll see you later. <laughs> right. Mama, Mama Rain. Was, Tanner, Ma that's was Tanner. Mama Rain in Tanner here? Says, well, well, Mama Rain, my phone's dying, but great job. I'll see you later. I love you, too. I love you, Tanner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I really, really do. I don't want to take up your, your whole evening. I mean, it's Friday night, and um, I really appreciate the, the, the time. And, uh, man, the Zoom thank is... Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is my first, yeah, my first live, interview. live interview, you know. Yeah, so, and Mountain Rain uh, has a YouTube channel as well. I've been a little nervous. A little nervous, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I, I know it. It's nerve wracking at first. It is. That's totally normal. Um, it's hard because like uh, most artistic people are, are are camera shy, right? I'd say, you know. <laughs> well, you would think I would. Well, you would think I wouldn't be because I put videos right. up, but really I. Am. <laughs> I really am. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I I was terrified to go on live my first time or even put up a video. I, was, I didn't, you know, it, I was, yeah. <laughs> but that's about facing your fears, and um, that's something that you did working all those years in the trades, and um, you know, I just say, guys, uh, you know, we we just need to do, we can be better, I think, right? And and like we we're saying, the newer generations, it is getting better. Um, the Right now, even in orientations, they're starting to. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. Yes, you can find your channel. The link is in my in the video description. Um, it's, I linked it uh, in the description. So, yep, uh, it's uh, right underneath the the first paragraph. There, you guys will won't miss it. Um, but yeah, the link is in the in the description, guys, for her channel. So get on over there, get subscribed for sure. Uh, it's co kind of funny some of the stuff you're putting out there, right? I just <laughs> yeah, you would think that I would have construction stuff up. Yeah, well, you never know. <laughs> but I'm totally, totally random, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you so. never know, right? They might be seeing some construction stuff coming from you, right? 
So. I, I, I think I might start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Before, and Before and after. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, who does okay. Wheel Row? Sorry. Of course, Wheel Row does that. Does this kind of, he just goes, fills with his phone and, and does a, a before and after and sometimes during it. And of course, when you're doing renos, you know, some of the funny stuff you find, right? Like some weird stuff the homeowners try to do themselves. So those are like memes in themselves, right? <laughs> oh my God, yeah. And of course, yes. And I remember the first time I went to get OSHA certified. Oh my God. And I'm thinking, I'm never going to be doing this stuff. And I'm having to take tests. I'm sure you know about it where you spend all weekend taking tests, watching videos. I'm thinking, I will never do this stuff in my life. Why do I have to learn this? But actually, I have done a lot of those things. And I was like, I would never do that. Yeah. Yeah. So. so. I know. I, I became a, a, did the OSHA thing, I guess, your equivalent as an, it's NCSO. Boring. And, it, was, it, was and, boring. Uh, it was boring. It was yeah, horrible. There's a lot of paperwork and like safety paperwork, you know, nowadays. It's crazy. Yeah. So you need to, you need to get certified so you can understand what, how to fill it all out properly, right? Because, uh, yeah, yeah, right now with liability being all on the workers and companies, it's like, yeah, you got to, you know, make sure your paperwork's filled mm -hmm. out right. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, after I watched that OSHA thing, I'm like, oh, OSHA would have, when, when I was younger, because I've, I've always been like 100 pounds, you know, uh, until the last couple of years, you know. But, um, we're talking about that big anyway. But I'm the one that they would strap a rope around my waist and we'd be on a high lift and I'd have a rope going across like a tin roof, painting a tin roof. And I was just held on by a rope. Yeah, right. While they were on the other side of the, the roof, you know, holding the rope in a, in a high lift. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, no, no. You're the smallest. Go do it. Like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. So I'll do some crazy things. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's, yeah. I can't, I can't even talk about some of the crazy things that, you know, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, OSHA, OSHA definitely would not have approved of that. No, no. That's right. Sometimes uh -oh. it's like, how do you do it? Right. But. That's yeah. also why the forty thousand workers die every year, right? So, <laughs> right, you know, right. There's always something that's almost like you know, but if you were to sit and write a procedure for it and got the right manpower and stuff like that, you could do it. But it's about time, right? So, um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, Aaron Banks. You know, most job sites that you've worked on, um, you know where there's men and women working there, we didn't care about gender. Uh, we were all there to work. Uh, and they did just as much work as the rest of us. So that's great. You know, that's that's typically how it's been for, for myself as well. Uh, the odd time you get it, you get it a weird situation. I mean, I can say it's perfect like that every time, but uh, same thing goes too with racial slurs and, you know, racist guys and um, homophobia, homophobia and all this stuff, right? So there's all kinds of... Uh, you know, construction and guys are supposed to be the, you know, they're, they're traditionally racist and homophobic and, and sexist, right? <laughs> so that's something we're trying to, trying to change, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, we need to change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's old school, but uh, it's still there. It's still there, that, that little, yeah. you know, a little bit. Not, not nearly as much as it was 20 years ago, but. No, no, it has, it has gotten a lot better. Yes, yeah. yeah. A lot better since from 20 years ago yeah okay well i'm gonna that's i'm gonna let you go mount rain i appreciate you coming oh. and spending time with us and yeah. um yeah i'm so honored to have you on the first show and uh we're gonna see you over an ant stream i'm sure and uh team smoke great sure. uh, shout out team smoke love y'all shout out team smoke you got it <laughs> yeah. okay guys yeah that's mountain rain interview um gonna go over to my cam <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> right on I'll, I'll talk i'll talk to you later on i'll send you a text we'll, thank you so much 
You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Bye, Rain. <laughs> or- Bye. <laughs> Well, guys, that was pretty awesome. What did, what did you think? I know the audio was a little weird, but uh, we're getting it figured it out. And uh, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. Mama, thank you so much for coming. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right? There you go, Uncle Dan. So that's true, right? Um, wow, that was awesome. I can't believe... Um, I think it went very well. the uh, The video was good, anyways. The we're, we'll figure out the audio. I'm saying I have the mixing board here, so I'm turning dials right. So if I could somehow get it so that I can control it with my stream deck or something like that, then uh, you know it'd be awesome. So yeah, guys, everybody for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, the very first interview, I loved it. It was it was really awesome. Uh, hope you guys like the new setup. Uh, we got the. <laughs> Come to the south side of Chicago, Beverly. Oh yeah, yeah. I bet. I bet. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like um, where I am right now, uh, where it's a very northern, redneck city. Okay, like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's an oil town, and it's extremely blue collar and redneck. Right. So the you can imagine, um, you know, you you could imagine like you know, what what you hear on some of these sites, right? And, um, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Why not? I, I, I we, we can hang for a little bit. Uh, I could throw on some music if you want. Um, and yeah, no problem there. I got time. I got a couple Coronas ready here on ice, ready to go. Uh, let me get the music going. And we go right on, dude. Oh yeah, it's a wheel row guy. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the other channel, like the, so next week, guys, next week we're interviewing, um, we're interviewing to the top of the train, Jimmy. To the top of the train, we're interviewing him next time. So we're talking about, uh, you know, crane operating. He's been an operator for a while. Sorry guys, that's too funny. Yeah, I got the. I just best features just blasting. <laughs> I, I I was just gonna say I know I know Uncle Dan's. You don't you don't mean that. I I know you don't. I and and uh it, it's it's you know it, the world's different now, right? Like it sh- it should never have gotten that bad. But hopefully it, is that loud enough? Hopefully it's loud enough. Right on. So the uh, so yeah. Let me know if it you can you can. All right. Yeah. 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 Should be good now. Music should be good. I'm gonna turn up my mic a little bit more. And there we go. Headphones. Yeah, dude. Eddie Smallhorn. How are you, pal? Nice to see you, man. Thanks for popping in, dude. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Music is perfect now. Everything should be good now. We're good now. That was awesome, guys. That was really good. I'm glad she was able to come and do that. Like I was saying, next week we're doing uh, Jimmy from To the Top of the Crane is who we're interviewing. And um, he, like I was saying, he operates the Tadano. I think it's a 180. It's a, it's a big crane, a mobile, and uh, he does a lot of cool stuff. So... Uh, we're definitely gonna have fun with that, and um, yeah, I got, man, oh man, let me shut down Zoom here. That was cool. I'm glad that it actually worked. And the meeting, we're good. Yeah, I'm really glad it worked. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. 
Uh, if you touch another dial, I'm gonna drop kick you. <laughs> oh, I'm not touching any more dials. Everything should be perfect the way it is right now, okay? If you need the music a little more up, the mic up, let me know if it's perfect. We'll leave it. We're good. I know I gotta really get good on the, um, I, I really gotta get better on the, the dials, but like I was saying, I wanna get it so that I can figure out how to control the different software with my stream deck is what I want, right? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice to have, I got, you know, the new the new graphics done too on the background there and um, my lighting's all messed up today. That's why I actually, because uh, I had the lighting set up for the video and so when I brought it back, it's backwards. So the, like the colors are backwards. So that's why it looks funky today. <laughs> 90s alternatives. Yeah, Aaron, you bet. Right on. This is actually uh, this is uh, some really good sativa. Uh, yeah, I got. It. Oh man, I got a couple of really good strains right now. But yeah, this stuff is really, really gooey, gooey, gooey. When you're alive, you should eat gummies. That's hilarious. I, 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 yeah, I shouldn't even smoke anything. I'm off the smokes again, though, guys. Uh, been off the smokes for over a week, anyway. Uh, yeah, the beard fell off, guys. Yeah, I was, I was actually, um, I never got to finish. I was gonna do the whole head, but. Uh, I just today was so rushy rush. I, I, I was, you know, I was with the girls and stuff like that, and um, you know, smoke a beer, drink a dupe, you get it, right? But uh, no, man, the channel is 18 and plus. Uh, we don't have uh, generally people under the age of 18 on the channel. Uh, they're not the target audience anyway. You need to be 18 years old to work in construction. Um, you know, maybe some of the tech videos or whatnot. Uh, might introduce them, but uh, you know, like I say, they're just videos. I'm not live, but um, it, it, you know what? It's legal. It's legal in Canada, and it's medicinal purposes, right? It's not. It, there's a lot of things that are bad out there, like the opiates that are killing. Um, how many? How many people died of opiates again last year? Like, let's look it up, right? Um, it was. It was a big number. So, uh, how many? Every day, every day, more than 130 people in the United States die after overdosing on opiates. So every day, more than 130 people die in the U.S. every day after overdosing on opiates. That's a lot. That's a lot. So you know we don't like the, uh, and under 63, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the. There's nothing wrong with, um, uh, <clears throat> you know. It, that's another thing too. Like we're here to, you, to a answer questions for people who are curious about that as well. You know, because it's a, it's definitely a better alternative to opiates, right? And um, construction. There's a there's a lot of injury and pain involved in that in that tr in that business. That you know that job to begin with. So there's a lot of opiate abuse uh, in construction, and so. You know, opiates and alcohol and things like that, right? So, it you know, uh, the opiate crisis is so bad in my neighborhood. Literally, every ambulance was for an OD. Yeah, it's sad. Like you know, like we my my wife's my wife's brother died too last year of an overdose. So, um, you know, him and his girlfriend died together at the same time. He was only 29, she was 23, and they, you know, they they died. So it really hit close to home for us. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Mama, you bet. Mama, my mom is uh, is a multiple sclerosis 
uh, patient. And so, she, yeah, she uses cannabis. And it's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. That's the nice thing, too. Like, when I started using, like, stopped with the pills and went back, went with the cannabis, my my pain actually went away and it really like it never went away with the opiates it just it got worse and worse and worse and since when i switched to the to the cannabis or to the cannabis it, it actually went away you know now i i barely rarely get pain but i i i just have like it's weird like i'm i just i'm gimpy i can't like i can't you can feel the muscles and stuff it just feel like they're uh stiff you know it's weird yeah, wheel row. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, Courtney is still like, still like she. Yeah, she's not dealing with that well. That was her closest family member, her her best friend, and um, yeah, he was he was really close to us. And um, yeah, that was that was yeah, awful. It was awful. Yeah, Courtney still still isn't isn't uh, isn't dealing with it right well. So. Um, it's bad, guys. Yeah, the the opiate thing is is bad. So, it, and you know, like I was saying, he was uh, he was uh, he was like a like a Q, Q, QA QC guy. Uh, so he's really you know had a really good job, really smart. And um, the girl friend or whatever also worked at the same place, was working in the office or whatever. That's funny. We were just talking about no, not uh, having office relationships, but uh, they were good for each other. So you know when you can't uh, help who you fall in love with, right? But it's true though. I know. Like when you're working with a girl who's really attractive, uh, you know, you know, like guys are um, always talking about, you know, like oh, it's crazy. It's just crazy. You know, they're just guys are desperate you know not all guys but a lot of guys are just just overly desperate in my opinion <laughs> head PE wake up yeah we got um, we have actually now we have copyright uh, uh, free music so I got pretzel rocks the radio uh, so I can stream uh, using it with uh, its royalty like it's not royalty free it's paid through a subscription um, Yeah, it is disgusting. You're absolutely right. I can't... Like, I was a dirt bag. I just... I was a dirt bag. Yeah, like the stream if you haven't already. Definitely give it a thumbs up. I, I, I felt like a real dirt bag um, when I was on opiates. Like, I just... It was disgusting. Everything about it. I will change the station, though, for you, Uncle Dan. Hopefully, you guys can hear this stuff loud and clear. Oh, man. You know what, guys? I am gonna do one. Like, I got the. It should be okay. I just turned up the audio on the radio player itself, so let me know if it was too high, but it should be okay. Hey, Court. Right on. Thank you. Yeah, it went really well. I was really happy with it. Um, like I was saying, like, I, it, it's actually, um, like, I, I was, you know, I, I was just so rushed today. I didn't get a lot of time to prepare. I felt really bad about that, but it was good. I think some of the things she said was uh, really, uh, you know, really, it's basically the nut, the, you know what I mean? Like, the nitty gritty of, of what's going on, right? And, you know. Yeah, wheel row, I know. I, that's the one thing I wish I never ever did was pick up a cigarette. I, uh, I, you know, I, I just, yeah, smoking cigarettes. Uh, thank God I'm off the smokes, eh? I've been off the smokes again now for over a week anyway. So, I mean, I wasn't smoking a lot anyways, like, I, but, uh, but I, you know, I was smoking every day, like, three to five smokes maybe sometimes five smokes that's a lot really for me so, yeah i just like i i feel so gross right and i just had to stop it 
Yeah, that's mom, Courtney. The, um... Yeah, cheers, Conaman Studio. Thank you for coming, man. Appreciate you coming, man. I think, uh, Pusa Studios is live right now as well. Um, I don't know if this is their regular time slot or not, but I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna try to go live every Friday. Do, do, do a, a show, you know, like, we'll interview somebody, we'll talk to somebody. Um, I had to stop when you were 11. Are you talking about smoking cigarettes? Oh, you started. Sorry, yeah. I uh, know. I was probably close to the same. I was younger. I was young too when I started smoking cigarettes. It's awful, isn't it? So yeah, I'm just glad to. I, I just I want to be off. Why is my year, my my New Year's resolution was to be off smokes and the vape by the end of the year. So I'm gonna I'm gonna speed speed that up. So I uh I, don't, I wonder why the stream deck keys like the graphics disappear sometimes on me. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get off and probably by the end of summer. I feel good. Like I don't need to vape as much, you know. <laughs> that's a lot that's funny my mom is my mom is uh really pretty and uh let's say you know when i was when i was a kid i was yeah i was always getting you know bugged because my mom was hot right and uh we we leave we um um oh god yeah sorry mom and mom and dad had the restaurant and bar and things like that too so yeah, it was just funny. Uh, the guys would, would think it was, uh, mom was my girlfriend when we were at football practice and things like that, right? So. <laughs> right on, yeah. Oh, I, I missed the... Uh, uh, you lot, of, yeah, 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 I got you. I got you, Aaron. You leaving, yeah. <laughs> right on. Man, I got it. I got, I still, I still got to fix this lighting, man, but I can't believe I got it backwards. I was racing to get this one together today, guys. What do you think of the layout? What do you see the one that I have for the CCN um, wheel row? It's actually going to be pretty cool. It's a uh, different, different theme, different colors completely, right? So it's kind of cool. I love. I can't wait to show it to you. Oh yeah, see so next week we'll do Jimmy from to the top of the crane, the crane operator, and then uh, yeah, Mama's still hot, of course, of course, of course. Did I? Oh. My mother's a saint. <laughs> yeah, you bet, dude. Yeah, I bet it's really late. Yeah, for you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you stopping in, my man. Yeah. Yeah, that's just me too. Uh, I'm I'm just chilling. Courtney and the kids are out at a movie. Um, all three kids actually she's with ben ben uh oh all four kids sorry she's with ben warner amelia and addy right now at, at the movie it's oh that's crazy we'll we'll do whatever you want whenever you want we just got to get everyone on the same page it's all ready to go and um toys not yeah okay that makes it that makes more sense aaron <laughs> Yeah, slap happy jelly. Uh, again, man. Yeah, thank you for coming, bro. And um, yeah, he's actually it's fun because the, my, my girls watch slime videos and things like that. So uh, Courtney plays his videos for them. So it's really nice to to do that, to have that too, right? So man, oh man, we're we're doing really well. We're at one thousand one hundred and thirty-five subscribers. Uh, Eminem prospecting. We just got a new subscriber during the stream. I don't know if I have my alert. I do have my alert box. Did anyone see an alert? I might have missed it. Um, oh, hey, you know what, guys? Try this out. Try this out. Um, this link is for the loots. If you... Uh, oh, you know what? First thing I got to do... 
is add uh, something first to the scene. And then if you guys click that, um, where do I go? Sponsor, I go, shit, how does that work again? Oh, I know, I know. I gotta go to um, sponsored messaging over here. Oh. And add it to the scenes. And then, what day and time? Okay, so I was thinking to do the CCN stuff on Mondays. Uh, Monday nights or something, right? Because uh, what do we have? Tuesdays is Creator Chaos and or Wednesdays or something. Mondays or Wednesdays because, like, I know Wednesdays are kind of full, actually, with uh, other streams. So that might not be a good time. I was thinking Monday. Monday would be good. Um, just gonna go so interview one Chris Cam. Yep. Uh, enable. Okay, cool. So now if we go over to editor, it should be there. So if you guys go to this link, it'll play an ad and it'll pay me money for the ad. So it, and you'll be able to write a write a note. So if you click that link, it's free for you guys, right? It'll play an ad on my on my stream and I'll get paid for that ad, right? So that's uh, that's another way to help monetize the channel. So you know we got the Streamlabs donation link, uh, where you can go on PayPal and um, donate that way. And Stream Streamlabs is better than Super Chat, right? It's straight through PayPal anyway, so it's legit. It's better than the than Super Chat. And then this right here, the the loots. It oh my God, that's hilarious, dude! I I can't even hear the music. I got it down so low now. Can, like, is it? What yeah. the hell is going on here? Right? Maybe I turn up the monitor. I can hear it better. Childhood shit. That's too funny. When everything was easy, you know? That's hilarious. Hey, Mountain Rain. Yeah. How are you, dear? Nice to have you back in the chat. It was That's 1997 awesome. in the summer. Mama said, pack it up. We gonna move our west. We ain't have a lot of money. <laughs> we just had a lot of hope. Like, fuck, That's we too gonna funny. do our best. West Cali. Oh, that's too no. funny, yeah. Well, Yo, nigga, I, was only uh, about, hey, I put the hip hop station on for you, weed, man. I know about the um, I ain't really know nothing about the state. Stumbled out the I gate, I, I was falling off a too, roof. Bro. Every single night, we was late. Back. <laughs> There's different uh, stations like um, Epic, Chill. There's, rock. There's a rock station you can try too. Upbeat. That was a little too uh, rave for me. Oh right, yeah. The re the reverb. So what I need to do is I need to plug a uh, program a couple of bu uh, buttons on the stream deck so I can mute and unmute my microphone uh, with the button, right? Instead of. Um, uh, Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> and it was awesome, Mountain Rain. It was really awesome. It was really fun, actually. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, you did a very, good, very good job. It was a lot of fun. I had, a, I had a good time with that one. I was, I'm, I'm glad you were able to do that. It was really, really, really cool. <laughs> underachievers uh, you know what that's the thing like the what I have here is it's actually there's a ton of artists right but they they would go into like a studio to record this stuff right like like uh, what would I say like epic sound studio type thing right and, and it could have been too it could have been and that's the thing, like, Zoom is really it's tricky. Audio is really tricky with it. So, uh, I heard people having a lot of, a lot of trouble with it, right? Haha, <laughs> Uncle Dad. That's funny. Go down, that's my mom, eh, Uncle Dad? <laughs> she's, uh, she's a really cool, strong lady. Really, really. I, I, my mom is awesome, like, I'll work on it. Yeah, we'll roll, if I we'll check it. We'll definitely do a practice stream. Yeah, that'd be great. We could do it tomorrow, even you know tomorrow night, whatever. Let me know when you're off work and stuff like that. I want to do it. Uh, we can do that for sure, man. That would be cool to do a practice one. Yeah, 
because uh, yeah, I, I've done the like when I practiced the, the like the two way interview, like all I did was uh, call in from my phone, right, and on a different email, a different account. So and then that's how I was able to, to kind of tap, do some testing that way. Um, but yeah, then but then it's so different though, when some when somebody else is on the other end of the phone, right? it's not right here. You can't just tweak things, right? So try to talk to somebody without uh, audio is hard, right? <laughs> What's so weird? Like now, I kind of get more um, what, what was going on when I was on Creator Fundament, no, uh, Creator Chaos, and uh, when I was on Michael Daniel's channel, right? Like, um, for one, I was really like too close to the microphone for one, right? So, um, it was getting a lot of the the hard like the PP it was going po po whatever you know what I mean like uh, too much too much bass or whatever, right? Uh, that song. Uh, I have to go back. How the hell do I go back? That's so weird. I I, I can't tell you now, uh, which is weird. Sorry, man. That's so weird. There's so there's no back. There's only forward. So you know how you can skip uh, forward and back on uh, whatever. This you can only go forward. It's uh this is on a radio station. But yeah, if you ask me before the end of the song, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> right on, yeah. Oh yeah, so mom, my mom is awesome. Yeah, so she was, uh, she taught me how to how to how to be nice to people and respect people, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I just, yeah, being nice to women that was something you know. You have to, this song here is called Sir Ghostington by Ghost and Ghost. Sir Ghostington by Ghost and Ghost. This song. <laughs> Darn right it is, Aaron. Yeah. Well, too, when I was studying business in uh, business in school, uh, in college, they they teach you a lot about ethics and how to act properly, right? And um, they talked about, you know, men and women working together and stuff, right? Uh, proper etiquette and like that. So, um, I, you know, I had, I had quite a bit of training too, right? For that sort of thing. Good night, Mountain Rain. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. I, I'm just running up the stream, court, like Courtney and the kids are out once they get home or we'll hang out. So, but we'll, we'll party till then. And thank you so much. Have a great night. Uh, it's, um, it's two hours ahead there. Um, yeah. What a, what a, like, like what a difference, you know, being in, um, construction for myself, 25 years, and, uh, she was, she's been in it just about the same, right? So even longer a bit. So. Um, things have changed so, so much. Uh, it's, it's, you know, a lot for the better. In the, in the way that workers treat each other. Not, not so much in management. Management has gone to hell. But uh, the way workers treat each other is much better. I love Jerry Garcia. I get what you're saying. You're gonna be a, 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 an a-hole to everybody. I get. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's just. <laughs> oh, that's, I just. <laughs> yeah, the the band is called. Uh, oh, that's right. The song is Sir Ghostington by Ghost and Ghost. That's right. How did you know that? Are you just a good listener? Cause Yeah, Sir Ghostington, yeah, by Ghost and Ghost. Do you, you know this song? Because <laughs> that's like the same... It's like the exact right spelling and everything. Or is that because you asked Alexa or something? <laughs> that's crazy. 
How did you do that? <laughs> Uncle Dan, you make me crack me up, man. That was a nice Eddie to pop in tonight. That was awesome. <laughs> Uncle Dan's is, uh, he's another channel. He, he is, uh, he's a good man. He means well. He, 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 he's just, uh, Jose, are you, are you, are you might be a little manic sometimes. <laughs> I, I get it. I get where his head's at. It, it, it could be offensive to some people. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I, I'm on. I was on the fence. Though, but that's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Dan. Sorry, Uncle Dan. Sorry, Uncle Dan. Sorry, Uncle Dan. I know you do, Mom. I know. Mom knows everything. I know. That. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It. I'll tell you. Uh, packing the like. What was I? What was I? Packing the baby up and. Driving uh, Addy to gymnastics and school, and then like, hey, that's a workout. Addy was uh, Shazam. <laughs> oh man, the the uh, uh, the movie Shazam, the new one. What a funny movie! I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, that's too funny. Yeah, poor Addy, like my, uh, my three-year-old, she is, um, she is very having a really weird sleeping thing going on with her, and it is, it was, you know, it's been, it's been kind of hard, because, yeah, it seems like when we have some stuff important to do, she picks us up at night, and, uh, yeah, last night I was like, I'm running on like two hours of sleep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah, poor user mod. Yeah, I gotta actually make, make her uh, an administrator on the channel. about the same you know like and, be, and treat people how we want to be treated right um and I, and I and I and I and I know like sometimes life is hard and the world's not easy that's for sure and our you know we can have different moods you know moods that go up and down and I, I just you know I, I like to be I like to treat people like I want to be treated and I and I do like to treat people all the same you know what I mean like and that's just it like um, no matter who you are what color or, or sex or age or whatever right like uh, disabled or enabled right like it, it shouldn't matter you know um, uh, everybody should be treated as an equal no matter what right and um, I expect the same in, in return, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's, you know, as long as you... Because <laughs> I'm typing with you. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't... I gotta do that. There you go. There you go, Mom. Actually, Mom has a moderator badge now. That's too funny. I know you're trying to flip the switch, I get it. I, I know because, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that has just been around for a while. Uh, so, oh my gosh. So Courtney, you guys must be done the movie almost. It's, yeah, you guys must be done the movie soon. Because the kids are probably on their way home. 
<laughs> yeah, if you type something now, mom, you'll see a, you'll have a blue wrench beside your name, and you and you'll be in blue, right? <laughs> Aaron. So, dude. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming, buddy. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we're just chilling till the kids get home. You bet. Probably be home any minute now. Thank you so much for coming, Aaron. Man, it was awesome to have you here, buddy. Much appreciated. Yeah, our mountain range. She's a really nice lady. Um, like I said, I met her over on Ant Stream, Team Smoke, and yeah, yeah. So yeah, I I, I started watching her videos and stuff like that as well. They're, they're quite funny, you know. So um, I had a good time uh, watching her videos, and then yeah, I found out she was in construction, and she started coming over to streams here uh, as well. And um, yeah, I was super on her on the show for the first time. Uh, I love you too, mom. <laughs> There you go. Now, 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 mom's got the blue wrench. Sure, absolutely. I'll explain it. Kind of funny, but messed up. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's Jacob's name, mom, isn't it? So, you can, uh, Jacob can do that. Yeah, mom's in the mod squad now. <laughs> Love you too, hello. He says, right on, Aaron. <laughs> Yeah, well, she's full of love, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy year over here, that's for sure. We've had a, an insane year in Canada. Oh, yeah, you're always working on some kind of audio thing, eh, Uncle Dan's? 10 speaker active setup. Yeah. Get your mid range, yep. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I yeah, dude. I I haven't put a, even thought about an audio system in my ride. For uh, <laughs> please don't do that. Dude. That's awesome. You know what? Can do you? No, oh, man. I was thinking because here they made a rule where you can't um, you can't like modify your car and put aftermarket parts on it anymore, right? But audio you can. not I used to love going to the audio shows and, and stuff like that when I was back home. Uh, they had awesome shows in Toronto for car audio. Oh uh, man, I, I, if I was if I had the if I had like lots of money, was, I would definitely have a sick ass stereo in my car for sure. But the thing is, I wouldn't be listening to it very loud. I don't even listen to the radio up uh, anymore. I just like I work construction and stuff like that, and then, so when I'm driving, I'm just like. Especially when there's no kids or anyone. It's like, I want it as quiet as possible because it's the only time it's quiet ever, right? So, <laughs> uh, Wheel Row, yeah, Florida, man. Ah, oh, man, I, I definitely, definitely would love to go. Um, I just need to get a passport, man. I need to get a passport. So, and then I can go get across the border, right? That's the only thing holding me back. Man. Otherwise, I, I would have been done already. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure, I will check it out. Yeah, in a sense, Dan, yeah, you're right. I, but I, I give everybody that fair chance at, uh, at, uh, to start, start off with, right? And then they, then they just beat themselves down after that. <laughs> I'm doing that, Wheelrow. I'm gonna go to your channel, check it out. But you're right. You know what I mean, right? Like I, I, I approach everybody, every new person, the, the same way. They're all, all equal. But then, they, then they'll do their own damage, you know, or, or you know, surprise me and be good. Right? Yes, mom. It's late for you as well. Thank you for coming. I love you so much. Um,
There's a new uh, stream stream uh, streamlabs website that I'm setting up somehow. It's actually uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. America. weird whoa maybe i spelt it wrong i, I gotta go to my home page to, to get it the link yeah i yeah i hear you bro I, I, yeah, I know. I, I hear, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, dude. You're talking about your mid ranges and all that. And and I, and I just, and I know, and I know you a little bit, right? So I, I know what you're saying. F-150 stereo boom boom tastic. really like clearing um i always used uh, i love alpine you know? alpine head units Alp i love alpine speed. i love alpine period <laughs> yeah i'm 40 man i just turned 40 uh, in march right so i'm just past 40 years old now <laughs> oh wow here i'll i'll Okay, so in order to get to my uh, other screen, I gotta. Yeah, I have to go over to my editor for a second. <clears throat> go up here, and if I go to Sunday. And there we go! Here's Wheel Rose. not it wheel road the one I'm playing I'm playing this right off your YouTube channel Got 212 MTX 5500 and back here I got a power acoustic bam fam 5500 wow. <coughs> um. got another one of these over there behind that Wow one. Yeah, I definitely don't have. Uh, <laughs> I definitely. That's a little little F one fifty two, eh? <laughs> Holy cow! Wow. That's wicked. So what is the the Hey Aaron yeah. Holy shit you got an amp for each sub? Like There you go. Is that what that is that what I'm saying? It's a badass amp right there. Oh you got a capacitor and everything in there? Got the uh, hey, Clarion is amazing too. I love the Clarion. Very clean sound out of their head units, but I, yeah, I like Clarion and Alpine are definitely quartz. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, darn right, yeah. I love it. Just playing the video like that. Kind of. Cause uh, the head unit got like internet. You can uh, play. Uh, you can play like YouTube on it. YouTube videos on it. And stuff. Me again. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Me again. Uh, oh yeah, the MTX. Uh, MTX, yeah, I know those pictures too. <laughs> those are tens, eh? What size are your uh, mids there? Those are six inch, eh? Eight years ago, eh? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a lot of power up in that little truck, though. I have to show you a couple more things. Under here, I got a uh, high amp. Just a two channel for the truck. But it rips. Right on, me again, right on, dude. Tw oh, those are 12s, okay. Oh. That's all for now. Jesus. There'll be more. Sure, man. <clears throat> As awesome as this cheap sound system oh. has been, it severely lacks one thing. The bass, that feeling deep into the song. Yeah, that was sweet, man. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Two Optimas. I think that was sweet. Mom came. Oh, I try this one. Thanks. <gasps> oh, excuse me. All right, huh? Missed that truck, eh? Yeah, man. I remember. I missed my. I uh, missed my truck. Actually, I had a, a Tundra. Uh, missed that one. I missed that truck. It was awesome to have that truck. Now, now I'm in the market for a minivan to hold all the kids in, right? Right, uh, yeah, I used to be obsessed with uh, car audio when I was younger. Car audio and fast cars, right? Like, back, uh, back in Toronto, we had a lot of um, like the sport, like the import, the compact imports or whatever, and uh, it was awesome. Hey, Michael Daniels, my friend, how are you? Just did the uh, first Zoom call on, on the channel with uh, Mountain Rain. We interviewed somebody on the channel, and she was awesome. It went really well, man. Had a, had a, um, it went really well. I was happy with it. The audio, of course, was a little, was messed up, but um, you know, yeah, trial and error. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Michael Daniels. Yeah, this was a, a late, a last minute type of, of interview too. Uh, but yeah, anytime, ask me for sure. Yeah, that'd be great. How'd the game show go? I think we went on the exact same time. I think uh, tonight. Yeah, you probably. 
can probably just end it, right? That's hilarious. Yeah, I got the right now. Even in the van, the uh, the like it's just a stock radio. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was cool, man. Oh, so what happened here? Um, what? Okay, so what what happened, Banks? I, I'm sorry. So I'm at an apartment. Oh my god, your daughter's getting a kidney transplant, Eric? That's right. That's right. Yeah, and that's earlier, I think, right? Because I think, uh, and, and we're just killing time now. Like I was saying, the kids are out and they're coming home. But yeah, we would have been done uh, half an hour ago uh, as well, uh, which would have been which would have been worked out in a sense. But uh, yeah, because I'm gonna do this at seven at seven Mountain Standard Time, which is nine Eastern. So. But yeah, that's cool, man. Next week we're gonna do Jimmy from Top of the Green. So that'd be cool. Yeah, I was happy to see that. I was happy the um, that it worked out really well. The I don't know. I can go back just to show you the screens. They're obviously they're not they're not working. I'll go back and show you the ones I set up. So I go. I got the guest cam. So when she's on Zoom, she was on Zoom, right? That would be her panel, and then I had the duo one, right, where we were beside each other. So, but yeah, it was fun. That was cool. Hey, Jason, man. What's up, buddy? Still at work. Are you working at the, the strip club? Yeah, detectives come by the house. Why would you have... Re oh, to view your cameras, eh? Oh, man. <clears throat> I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that is really weird. It's, that's weird as fuck, man, actually. That's really weird. Um, I, I don't know why they would do that. You know, like, how the nerve on people. That's just so ghetto, right? Like, who does that? That is so weird, man. So the transplant went well, then, is what you're saying? That's good. That, oh, man. I, oh, man. I know I have kids, man. And I, and I, sucks man that would be you know you gotta be tough for them and i know they're tougher than we give them credit for and stuff like that and it's just uh you know we can't help it as parents to you know kind of get a feel a little softer i guess about it right jason my man dude yeah so you guys working on the benches for that new uh club Shooting. You're not giving them their cameras. T 
cheeky, cheeky part. <clears throat> In that shop with Dom. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I got the notification, man. I'm, I got it right here. I'm gonna watch it after the, the stream for sure. How's it going in the shop with Tom? Yeah, you know what? We do got to change this freaking music. That's for sure, man. Yeah, got it, which is awesome. A lot. Yeah, I've been getting, I've been getting quite a bit of notifications lately, but maybe it's because I've been going through them. Oh shit. Kids are home. I don't know if it's, 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 uh, but the stream uh, cut out. Let's see what happened here. Am I still alive? Okay, good. I, I closed the live window. I've never done that before. But the kids are home, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up. It's been a good show. Good time, guys. Uh, I'm gonna I wa I watch that uh, that video uh, me again here right after the stream. Thank you guys all for coming, man. I really really appreciate it. The kids are here now, so we're gonna go hang out with them and chill for a bit and uh, do that sort of thing. You know what I mean? I know it's so weird, dude. Will I swear to God that they they unsubscribe you? Yeah, I'm live. Yeah, I see that. Um, weird because I I shut the live screen off of YouTube. I've never shut that before when I'm live. So I was like, oh, am I gonna you know, like lose the stream? But no, it's good. It's working. Yeah, happy Friday, Tom. Man, I, I dude, I know like I know exactly what you're saying in your videos. It's hilarious. I I get it. I. I, I, <laughs> that's too funny, man. I know it's definitely um, it's it's different. It's hard. Yeah, you can't see everything. I know it's it's impossible, man. I can't you, you can't see everything. You got you know the videos you do choose to watch is like you know uh, yeah time is a lot, right? Like. It's really, I can't watch everything, it's impossible. But yeah, Aaron, you too, man. Have a good night. Will Rowe, thank you for coming, man. Like I was saying, if you want to do a call, we'll do it. Um, you know, we can do that tomorrow, no problem. Let me know when you're home and we'll do it. And um, yeah, again, no worries. You don't, you don't have to worry, man. That's awesome. Uh, I'm glad you came, made it. Uh, hit the like button uh, before we uh, get, we shut her down here. And uh, Aaron, I'm glad that... Um, Everything went well with the with the, with the transplant. That's awesome. Uh, record for the fastest abdominal surgery recovery. Looking at her, you wouldn't even notice she had a transplant. That's fucking awesome. I love that. Little warrior. Yeah. Little warrior. That's awesome. I love it. Super chats coming soon to Conkle. Yeah, right on, real row. Um, oh yeah, Boyle Nuts, if he's um, on the replay or whatever, he sent me um, um, a Streamlabs uh, donation. But I wasn't even live, I, mean, I just I just got the notification in email the other day. Uh, Thursday, I think, so that was awesome. 